I think everyone's looking for some fresh air and I needed a less background noise. My microphone's on back order like everything on Amazon. So once I get that, maybe we can go back out in the sunshine. But I thought this would be nice and quiet so you can hear me cue a little bit louder. Today is going to be more of an athletic workout. So we'll try to keep that heart rate up. It's under 20 minutes. As always, if you do have any issues as far as back issues, be careful when we're bridging. Any spine surgeries, hip replacement, knee replacement, be really careful. I'm sure you've already checked with your doctor before you start this workout and nothing should hurt. So if there's something that's not feeling comfortable, just eliminate it. I'm not in front of you to help you with that, to work through that. So um, just don't do it, wait for the next move. And even our stretching. So even stretching, and this goes with anything and any workout that you might be doing from home right now, uh, shouldn't hurt, stretching shouldn't hurt. So don't stretch to the point that you're hurting your body. Um, let's get started. So right now we're gonna start with a spine stretch forward. So if you have a mat out, I want you to take your heels the width of the mat. You're gonna sit up nice and tall on those sits bones. So you're sitting right in the center. Your arms are out forward. You're gonna take a nice big inhale and you're gonna exhale forward, rounding that spine all the way forward. And then take that nice big inhale and stack yourself all the way back up. Each time I do this, I try to see if I can get a little bit more length. Feeling that in the back of the hamstrings, reaching for my toes and stacking myself back up. Now, Moving into a half roll down. So nice big inhale, exhale all the way back. Just halfway using those abs to pull yourself all the way back up on those sits bones. Nice big inhale, exhale. And coming all the way up. And now let's combine them. So exhaling forward. Inhaling up, exhaling back. Up. One more time, exhaling forward, trying to sit evenly on both of those sits bones, not sitting on one hip or the other, and then coming all the way back up. Now, moving into a little spine twist. So this should feel good. Your arms are out <clears throat> to the center, and then we are going to twist one, two, and three, hold, Come all the way back. One, two, three. All the way back. One more time. One, exhale, two, three. All the way back. And one, two, three. All the way back. I'm already starting to sweat. So now we'll start with a little ab workout here. So ab ab prep. So our hands are behind our head. You can interlock them if you'd like to keep that head. Imagine there's a little peach right in the middle. So I don't want that neck forward. Then taking that right knee and bending the elbows to get that extra curl and coming back down and left and three and exhale and five and six, and seven, and eight. Take your arms down to the side. Now add with that hip lift. So one, and two, and three, pushing your arms into the ground. Four, hips up to the ceiling. Six, and seven, and eight, one more time each side. So hands behind your head, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Arms down to the side and add those hip lifts, alternating those knees. Make sure you're breathing. 
Make sure you're pushing evenly through both arms. The wrists are down to the ground. Seven and eight. And bring those knees into your chest. Whew. All right. So let's move over prone. So we're flipping over and we're going to add <clears throat> our cat stretch. So pulling up in those abs, exhaling, moving through to that cow, pushing all the way forward. Pulling all the way up in those abs, feeling that stretch on that shoulder blades, pushing all the way forward. Good. Now moving into a little balance, we're going to take our right arm out and our left arm out. So <clears throat> when you're in this position, imagine that this hip is facing down to the ground. So if you're trying to get that leg all the way up, just you probably need to bring it down and make sure both of those hips are facing down towards the ground. And at any time through this balance series, you can always keep the leg or the arm down. So if I'm saying right arm out and left leg and you're just on the arm, that's okay too. So just as a little modification. So that right arm goes out, that left leg goes out. You're gonna bring it out, come back in. You can hear my kids. They are on a break from school this morning. <laughs> and down. <laughs> Take the opposite <laughs> arm out, and now we have the dog. And I'm thinking this is how everybody's house is right now. So hopefully I'm normal. And coming all the way down, stretch that back, and we're going to come all the way up. Now, take that right arm out, left leg out, flex. And extend and flex and four and five pulling up in the abs seven and eight take that hand down opposite leg and one and two and three and four pull up in the abs Keep those hips facing down and coming back down. Good. All right, we're flipping back over. This time we're gonna do reverse crunches. So I want 10 of them. So instead of crunching up, we're bringing our bottom back towards us. So interlock those hands behind you, bring your knees into an active tabletop and we'll do 10. So 10 and nine, Eight, fill this in the lower obliques. Seven, six, five, you can always take your head, neck, and chest down. Two, and one. Let's rest for a second, open up, and we'll do 10 more. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Woo. All right. So now the next is a roll up to an extension. So a roll up in Pilates, we're going to start all the way down. You might find when you start this roll up, you'll find a dead zone. So you might start right here and it's really hard to get all the way up. So you get to your point that you feel comfortable and you're going to roll back down because eventually if we keep working towards it, you're going to work through that spot. You're going to sit all the way up on those sit bones and extend out, opening up that chest and tucking that tailbone under and rolling all the way down. Another tip and trick that you can do exhale is you can take your feet and then tuck them underneath something or push them up against the wall 
that might help work through that as well. At the studio, we have those little roll bars down at the bottom so that you can tuck your toes under, extend. Let's do that one more time, feeling those abs roll all the way back, come all the way down. We're gonna roll up one more time, sit up on those sits bones and find that extension. We're gonna flip over and do a little shell stretch to our Superman. So we're gonna sit all the way back, get that nice stretch. So you're taking your bottom towards your heels. You're reaching your fingertips all the way forward. Then you're gonna slide all the way out and using those back muscles, those ab muscles, you're gonna pull all the way up then push all the way back to that shell stretch. Slide those hands all the way forward, reach those fingertips nice and long, squeeze that back body. Feel this nice full body workout one more time. Slide all the way back into that stretch. And come on your back to a little bit more shoulder bridge workout. So again, this is the spot where if you have any back issues, you wanna be careful to either eliminate it, since I'm not there to help, um, or don't take your bridge up as high if it hurts. So moving into a nice shoulder bridge adaptation, we're gonna roll all the way up. Now, staying in this shoulder bridge, I want you to make sure that the weight is evenly on those wrists, those forearms, and those shoulders, and the weight is not on your neck. So that is where we're going to start. Then we're gonna take our right leg all the way up, lower and lift, bring it over, and square those hips to the side. So we'll do five, down and up, across, side, down and up, across, and side, and down, pushing down into those arms, across, and side. We'll do one more time, down, and up, across, square those hips, and side, and come all the way down. Bring those knees into the chest, and we'll do the other side. So, find your position, Take a nice big inhale, exhale, tilt that pelvis back towards you, slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Take that opposite leg all the way up toward the ceiling, lower and lift, across, across, lower and lift. And ideally what we're trying to do is to keep the pelvis as stable as possible and just moving this leg. So we have three more. Don't forget to breathe. Ooh, this is a hard one. You should feel this in your glutes. Push harder in those arms to get those hips up higher. And one, and then roll all the way back down. Woo! All right. So, doing a little side leg work. So there's a couple different things you want to remember when you're doing side leg work. So you can have, the most important thing, sorry, is keep those hips stacked. So we don't want to be rolling back or forward. We want to keep that top body open. Imagine there's a skewer right through those hips and they're keeping them nice and solid and stacked, okay? Take that bottom leg and keep it long. If you need to bend it, that's okay too. So we'll have it nice and long. You're gonna take the other hand. You can put your hand up underneath your head. You can always lie down like this too, or have a little pillow if that feels good to you too. You can take this top arm for balance. You can keep it right here. You can keep it on your hip for a little bit of a balance challenge, or you can play with bringing it all the way up to the sky. So if you feel like those hips are stacked, you're feeling that challenge, take the arm up to the sky. Now, I want you to make sure you're not laying down 
on this side body. So you really want to be pulling this up. Imagine you're pulling these obliques all the way up. So to start with, a little side leg work, we want to lift and lower. So we're going to lift and lower for four and three, pulling up in that side, two and one, and circles. One, two, three, moving from the hip, four, five, I think, four, three, two, and one, and pulses, four, three, two, and one. Good, and switch the other side. Woo, okay. So find that position. You might find you have a little bit more balance or a little bit more strength on one side or the other. So um, keep in mind that's okay if you change your position on either side. So I'm gonna put my hand in front, pulling up in that side, and we're gonna lift and lower. One and two, three, more of a challenge. You can take that bottom leg and keep it lifted too. Or you can keep it down on the ground, or you can keep it bent for a nice modification. Sorry, I wasn't counting. We'll do backward circles first. Four, three, two, and one, and one, two. Pull up in the abs, obliques, and four, and pulses. Four, three, two, and one. Good, and stretch that body out. Okay, so a little ab workout, and we're gonna go into the ab series. So, single leg stretch. We're gonna start with a single leg stretch. We wanna make sure we don't bring that knee in too far, and we're gonna do eight of the single leg stretch. We'll do eight of the obliques, and we'll do eight of a double leg stretch. So, we're gonna try to keep moving through this whole thing, and then we'll get a nice stretch at the end. So, single leg stretch. You can always bring that head, neck, and chest up to keep that nice challenge, or you can take your arms and push them into the ground if you're not quite ready for that yet. So head, neck, and chest come up. Make sure when you're doing the single leg stretch, you don't bring that knee in too far. You wanna keep working those obliques. So we'll do eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and now use those obliques. So eight, seven, six, keep those elbows in the peripheral, three, two, and one, and then a double leg stretch. So eight, and seven, six, five, and four, three, two, and one. Stretch that body all the way out. Take a nice deep breath, and let's see what we have next. Oh, this fun little plank series. All right, so last little workout is the plank series. So this one's fun. We're gonna do two sets of eight each. So I want you to four point kneel, so that means that those knees are directly underneath the hips and you're staring down at your wrists. Tuck those toes under and pull up in the abs just to bring the knees up off the ground just a few inches and moving into uh, <clears throat> tapping of the knees. So we'll do eight. Try to keep that body nice and stable so the arm is doing the moving. You're pulling up in the abs. Two. And one. Then, I want you to flip over. So I want a nice, soft elbow. Just lift those hips off of the ground just a few inches. So I don't want, we're not doing this. So just lift those hips up off the ground a few inches. So soft elbows and then ankle, we're tapping the ankles. So we'll do eight. Trying to keep your body, woo, stable. Almost lost it for a second. Two and one, flip over. So now we got the hang of it. Four point kneel, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And flip over. Those 
hips down. Two and one. Woo! Okay. Time for the cool down. Okay, so I hope you guys had a good workout. So ready for the best part of this is a nice cool down. So nice little seated spine stretch. So we're gonna sit up nice and tall. Let's go back so you can see me. Sit up nice and tall, sit on the sit bones just like we did at the beginning, and then stretch all the way forward. And come all the way up. And one more time, all the way forward, stretching out that lower back and those hamstrings. And come all the way up. Now cross those legs if that feels comfortable for you. Take your arms all the way out. Feel this in those deltoids that we worked in those planks. Reach all the way up towards the ceiling. Take your arms out to the side. And circle. We're putting the pressure on our wrists from doing those planks. We want to make sure that we stretch that out. And then we're going to come all the way forward. This is one of my favorite things. So we're going to sit back, nice little shell stretch, and then walk our hands to the left side and take your hips to the right side. So you'll feel this on this nice side body all the way up. And take and reach that hand and see if you can cross it over to the left hand. So taking that right hand and crossing it over, then walk yourself into the middle. This might be enough for you, but if you want more of a stretch, you can take that top hand and grab onto the bottom hand. <clears throat> Good. Now, I like to do this side to side with the cobra stretch too. So you're pushing your hands into the ground, getting this nice stretch, and now rock those hips to the right side. Getting a nice little stretch. Come back to center, and then rock to the left side. Coming back to center. And you guys are done. Good job. Give yourself a little hand, a little hug.